I'm sure you've heard the line before that guns are meant to be comforting, but not necessarily comfortable. The question is, will this product from Gunzy be able to change that perspective? Hello, this is Raziel Cohen with NDFTraining.com, and today we're going to be speaking about a product from Gunzy. What this is, is kind of like a foam that you're able to put behind your holster to make the holster carrying process a little bit more comfortable. Now, there are different variations of options like this that are available on the market, but this is the first one that I've seen that's solely going toward the aspect of comfort and trying to put as much into that as possible to really give you the best value in that regard. So there's definitely a lot to speak about. I'm going to show you a couple different options that I've used up until this point, but also so more importantly, I'm going to show you where I think this could be even more valuable than more than just the concealed carry market because I was using this in a very different way that I felt was really, really going to be beneficial and I think it could help you out too. So to start off, this is my EDC holster. This is a T-Rex arms holster and like most Kydex holsters, the back of the holster is going to be just a piece of raw plastic, which could be kind of cumbersome or annoying to deal with because in higher temperatures, it could get kind of sweaty or just irritable um, as well as also there's not much comfort. It's just a piece of plastic. So something that I a lot of people have gone through throughout the years, including myself, is going with kind of like the uh, a shoe sole that you're able to get. This is from Dr. Scholes, I believe. And what it is, you just take a piece of Velcro, you put it onto the back of the holster, then you take the Velcro up, the opposite side of the Velcro, you put it onto the piece itself, and then you kind of configure it in a way where when you stick it on, it's going to kind of give you that level of comfort. I make mine protrude a little bit past the bottom, so if you're running a comp, or if you want to just be able to have it that when you sit down, it kind of bends into the barrel a little bit, so it gives you a little, a little bit more comfort. That's kind of the option I've gone with for a long time. And it works fine. It's not great, but it works fine. Uh, a kind of a reason for the design, the reason why people like going with this option is that since the sole is kind of smaller and thinner in the top and gets wider as it gets to the beginning, it kind of helps the gun tilt into the body a little bit to give you a little bit more concealability when it comes to using the grip itself. So as you know, the part of the gun that's going to protrude more and the part that's going to be the only risk of actually, actually printing is going to be the grip of the gun. So when you have have this claw over here and when you have something pushing in between the two it's going to curve in and then curve up so by doing that it kind of tightly fits into your body to give you that level of comfort now what Gunzi did is they took it's almost like a memory foam piece of material it's a very soft very cushiony piece of material one side is kind of like almost like a very very soft um, suede material and on the opposite side is more of like a rubbery material so what you're going to do is that in the kit what it comes with is a piece of velcro so you open it up you strap one side to the back of of the, the rubber aspect, and then you strap the other side to the holster itself, and then when it sticks to it, you end up having a huge amount of coverage that's able to cover the back of the holster. So this holster is for my Glock 19, uh, and you can see when I put it there, it covers the entire length of the back of that holster, so it really gives you as much coverage as possible. You could also technically, if you wanted to, go sideways with it, so you get maybe more of a bottom protrusion that will tilt the gun into your body a little bit better, um, but there's a lot of different ways that you're able to configure it. I tried it out, it works great. It's very comfortable, it works really nicely. However, there's two things I'm going to talk about that I think will change your perspective on this a little bit more. First of all, I personally wouldn't recommend that you simply use so they, they have two different sizes here. I'm just gonna show you guys the two different sizes. So they have one larger one, which would be more of like a Glock 19, Glock 17 size. And this one is gonna be for more of a compact option. So you can see how they do have different options available. Now, what I wouldn't recommend is if you just stick it, so this one's gonna be for my Glock 48. If you just stick it to the entire back, all you're pretty much getting protrusion, I mean, it's going to stick out a little bit more because you're just adding more material. Now, it will squish against your body, but it's just going to add a little bit more. Although it's probably not necessarily recommended from the company, this is still very comfortable to be able to use, but I would probably cut it out in a way where, as an example, if you see the one that I'm holding, I would probably cut a triangle out or a square off this side right over here so that what you're having is that you're going to have a portion that's going to be able to not make it a full square. So if this portion is removed right over here, then what that's doing with this being removed is that you're still able to get that tilt into your body as opposed to having the entire thing just protrude a little bit more. It will be more comfortable. It for sure will be more comfortable if you do the, the entire thing. And if you're able to conceal carry that way, that's awesome. But I think it would be even more concealable if you're just able to make that cutout. It would be very cool if the company in the future offered maybe versions like that 
that where you'd be able to just have that cut out so that you're still getting all the comfort, but a little bit more to the concealability aspect. But as of right now, that's kind of something I would recommend. Now, what I really say is that I found this to be significantly more useful in other areas, which I didn't really expect. The first one is going to be for outside the waistband carry. So if you have a holster that you're carrying outside the waistband, you could actually put this on the area between the holster and between your belt, because even if you have a belt that's outside the waistband, if you're moving or depending where you like to configure your holster, it can still kind of rub up against your bone or when you're moving around, you still feel that gun squishing against your body. So what I was able to do is I'll show you a few different options. The first one, which I was most excited about, is the Unity Tactical Clutch. So I have made a video on this on the past and it's really, every time I pull it out, it's more exciting for me because I remember how like versatile and how cool this kind of platform is. It just gives you all the gear that you need in one place. It's quickly deployable. I did make a video in the past with this bag showing you how you're able to use this as a full active shooter kit. And again, it's really, really cool to be able to run. So what I was able to do is on the right side where my holster is, you can see that a part of the reason why I love the clutch is that although it's kind of like a belly band design, it still allows you to use a proper Kydex holster. So you know that you're getting proper security of the firearm when you're using it. Now on the inside of that, all there is is pretty much a very small piece of rubber and then your skin. So this is going to be what's going to be pushed against your body. So what I was able to do is I was able to simply take this, um, the Gunsy um, backing, stick it up against there, right? And you can Velcro it in place. And all you need to do after that is put it on because now you're just being able to have that coverage on the inside. So it gives you a little bit more comfort when you're carrying this. So again, if you've used this before, generally when I'm using the Unity Tactical Clutch, I'll have the gun um, a little bit more forward than the three o'clock position. So it's not gonna be directly on the three o'clock position. So when it's moved a little bit forward, you can kind of feel it like on your hip or on your bones when you're moving around. But having this additional piece of comfort there really makes a huge difference um, for, for how you're going to be wearing it. And it really makes it feel a lot better. So that was the first place I tried it. I ran it for a few days and it felt really comfortable to be able to use. The same concept applies to this belt. This is the Core Essentials belt that I have with the Wilder Tactical Insert. And I'm using a level three retention holster on the outside. So the same thing applies where if you guys have one of these, this area right over here is is going to be what connects the gun to the belt itself, um, the holster to the belt itself. Now, if you're able to add that same concept where I put that piece of foam there, you're now seeing how it's able to add a lot more comfort to that small area. So instead of it kind of pressuring against your body, uh, it makes a big difference with comfort. Also, most people who are gonna be running that system might also have a leg strap because they wanna keep the bottom, the barrel area of the gun closer to the body. But again, it's kind of squishing that piece of plastic into your thigh a little bit more, and it kind of makes it uncomfortable to be able to use. So a very simple product like this, which you're able to just stick onto the back and make sure it adheres properly, will make a very big difference when it comes to comfort. Um, again, the same thing applies for whether you're going to be using a Glock 19 style or a Glock 48 style. They have different options and sizes you could choose from. Installation is literally as simple as taking one of these alcohol pads that are provided, wiping down the surface of the Kydex that you're going to be using, and then adhering this, this, um, this Velcro to both sides of the materials you're going to be using, and that's literally it. I would also recommend you could just buy more Velcro strips so that you could just transfer this from place to place. I would be careful. You don't want to rip it off because I'm sure over time that could cause wear to the material itself, but you could just get one or two of these and then have it work amongst a multiple set of options that you have so that you're also saving money there. That could be a really cool option. So if you're looking to get any information on this, I'm going to leave more information in the description below. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. This is Raziel Cohen with ndftraining.com. Thank you for watching.